What's up guys? I know it's been a hot minute since I had a Fitness Friday update for y'all. As with our few recent videos, you can probably understand life's been a little busy and crazy. What I want to bring to you guys in today's video are my fitness photo shoot pictures. I initially started out prepping for a bodybuilding show, but you guys might know several weeks, I think it was seven or eight weeks into the prep, I realized that this is not the best time for me to prep. Um, if you have any knowledge of bodybuilding itself, the sport of bodybuilding, it takes an extreme level of dedication um, to your workouts and your nutrition to get down to a very, very low body fat percentage. With the amount of dedication that it takes to get to the stage, it was just not the right time and place for me. So. Instead of doing a bodybuilding competition, I decided to do a fitness photo shoot. And this photo shoot was a lot different for me because I had continued to put this pressure on myself to look a certain way for this photo shoot. I know that a lot of people in the fitness realm itself will prep for a photo shoot. They feel like they have to look a certain way in order to be worthy of this fitness photo shoot. I hope I'm making sense here. I'm just kind of chatting with you guys. I had the same standard standards set on myself. So if you pull out a, a fitness magazine and you look at the pictures, the people in there look a certain way. As people in the fitness industry, we tend to think that we have to look that way too in order to be valid. And I did a full video talking about this and, and kind of the insanity of it all because where I'm at now and when I did my fitness pictures, I am at a very healthy point for me right now. And if you have done any sort of fitness journey yourself, you probably know and understand that that's going to look different year to year. So my healthiest point last year, I look different than what I do now. Um, and will I look different in my healthiest point for 2018? Most likely. But I wanted to take these pictures to commemorate just the hard work that I've put in not only this year, but the last six years or so since I started lifting and started eating a little bit better for my body and maintaining a healthier relationship with both food and my, my own body. So I did these pictures and I'm really excited to show them to you because this is what's healthy for me. And it might not be the picture of health that we often see on social media nowadays. I think that they're you know, social media itself is, is a highlight reel of what people want to show you. I know a lot of fitness accounts that only post pictures of when they were lean. And I'm not crazy lean all year, you know? And that doesn't mean that I'm not performing well and eating well just because I'm not crazy lean. And in fact, when I was at my leanest, and I can throw up a picture here for you guys, I was my hungriest. Even though I was eating a good amount, my body wanted to gain body fat. So even if I do compete again, I know now and I understand that staying that lean for an immense amount of time is not healthy for my body. That's where a lot of people go wrong is they place a lot of emphasis on trying to stay very lean all year when it's not healthy for most people. There can be a very small percentage of people that just are genetically lean and their body functions well at that and that's great, but for my body, I've learned that as of right now, I can't stay that lean and, and feel good, you know? I really, really like these pictures because they show me at my healthiest point right now. And my body is performing well, I'm eating very well, I'm eating a lot. And it's also important to reflect back on where we were years ago. And I think if I were to see these pictures Back whenever I was like maybe 20 or 21, when I was solely focused on just getting skinny, um, I didn't even care about muscle or being strong, I just wanted to be skinny. Um, if I were to look at these pictures, I probably would not believe that it was me. And that's a really, really neat thing to see and to feel because back then I didn't have that faith in myself that I would have the relationship with food that I do now, that balanced relationship, and be as strong as I am now, um, and as confident. And it's really, really inspiring to think back on because 
if I've reached this point in seven years or so of just learning and trying things and, and making mistakes and moving forward, um, what can another seven years bring? So it's just really neat to think about. And I think that these pictures are kind of a commemoration of that. It's not just about how lean can you get for one photo shoot. It's where can you be in another five, six, seven or more years? And not just with your physique, but your health and your outlook on life. Not even fitness related. I can't even... I wouldn't have even been able to fathom where I am now working for myself and actually doing something that I love and not working for somebody else and being miserable at my job and Matt and I are living in <laughs> an RV and just absolutely loving all of the changes that have happened in the last several years. This photo shoot to me ways to celebrate all of these changes and I'd honestly like to do more photo shoots, markers of different points in my life. Now, of course, they cost money, but that's a whole different topic. Just wanted to share this with you guys, just some thoughts and the pictures, and I'm really happy with how they turned out, especially the climbing ones. And I think my favorite is my deadlifting picture, because deadlifts are when I truly feel my best and my strongest. Like, everything just goes away my worries and my thoughts and I focus on just lifting in that moment. So I really am really happy with these pictures and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. That's going to be it for today's update. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll leave the link to my Facebook page below because that's where the full album is. Yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Love y'all and I will see y'all on Monday.